Scorpios, welcome back, y'all. I'm back with another reading for y'all. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get it popping. Let's go ahead and jump in. I've already saved the cards. So, yeah, we ready to go, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's get a message. It is a general read, guys. So whatever comes out, that is what we're going to talk about. Okay? General. If it does not apply, y'all got to let it fly. Okay? Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Please give me a message for Scorpio. Ooh, all right. We got a jumper. We got the justice here at the bottom of the deck. And the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on. Some of you guys could be dealing with For some, I'm getting like um, a family unit. I'm also getting, trying to balance out your money. Some of y'all are trying to make sure your funds is in the right place. Okay, so it looks like we got some cards that just jumped out. Four of Cups and the Five of Swords. So it looks like you don't want to upset someone or you don't want to give someone the wrong impression. I feel like you're trying to get the facts of a situation. You're trying to get the facts. It looks like you're offering or giving someone something or someone is giving or offering you something. I'm here and bringing something to the table. The challenge is you standing your ground in this. Um, you could be feeling like, you know, maybe you're being pushed to get all the information first before you make some type of move. Um, I see that in the past, though, in the past energy, we got the Ten of Cups. So it's like you were you were happy with the information that you got, but I feel like it's still kind of. Let's see. Let me let's see. Cause I'm getting kind of like doing something. You're doing something alone. You're doing something by yourself. Okay. Why is the let's see why the nine of pentacles is here. Eight of Swords. Okay. Now, this makes sense. Okay. So, you're trying to figure out if you want to be in a connection or if you want to be single. Okay? Because we got that Nine of Pentacles here or the Two of Cups. And this Eight of Swords in the middle. So, maybe some of y'all could be a little bit afraid, afraid of a commitment at this point. Um... I feel like you're still trying to figure this out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, okay. So you told this person the truth already how you feel. I feel like I'm here and I would love to, but I'm seeing a but. Do you think that it's going to really happen? Is it okay? I'm hearing I would love to, but do you think that we could really pull that off? Okay. So this is the thing. You're stuck in the middle of whether or not if you want to be in a connection with this person, 
or if you want i'm hearing pisces with this high priestess and this queen of cups right here or virgo it could be any sign but those signs are sticking out either you've already had this discussion with this person or your intuition is telling you that you need to have this conversation with this person Yeah, okay, see the challenge is starting a family unit, okay, with this person, that's the challenge, because maybe you guys tried this before, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, and it didn't go, um, it didn't get in, it didn't get too far, it didn't get far, y'all ended up breaking up, okay, y'all ended up breaking up. So this could be with the ex, yeah. This six of pentacles and a six of cups. This is getting back together. Okay. So this is with the ex. Do you want to return back to this ex or do you just prefer to be single? That is the question. Now the ten of cups energy back here in this past is I feel like some of y'all been doing very well. Been doing very well for yourself. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. It seems like you are you are satisfied, happy. Um, I'm seeing someone feeling like they should just tell the truth. So I feel like in the past, y'all had this conversation about whether or not you guys want to be in a connection or not. Okay, I feel like you told your truth. This could be with the baby father or a baby mother or Aries. I feel like y'all tried it. Y'all tried it before. Y'all tried this before. Y'all tried it before. Tell me why the hierophant is here. It could be a Taurus, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. You 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 think that this you dealing with this person could possibly like change your life? It'll completely alter your life. I feel like some of you may be single right now, um, or just kind of like doing you right now, and you're happy with that. You're satisfied with that. You feel like if you were to mesh this two mesh these two lives lifestyles together, it'll be you know, it'll be life changing. Okay, it'll be a game changer. It'll be a life changer. It's not going to be as as simple. Okay, now the hermit is in future, future energy. You haven't made up your mind yet going into the future. You're still contemplating on it. You're still thinking about it. You're kind of like just wanting to see where it goes. I'm, I'm getting, I'm here. I would love to, but I would love to, and I get a big butt right here. King of Wands and the Lovers. And then we got that Nine of Wands. That's like a block light. But, you know, maybe you got some other females or some other males in the picture. Okay. We got the devil here. Yeah, we got the devil here. Okay. So there may be some other people that is, you know, in the picture. So you're kind of like trying to wait to move forward. You're really not in a rush. You're not really in a rush to move forward. You're just kind of like going with the flow. Going with the flow. This could be a baby mother or a baby father. Because the emperor keeps wanting to reveal itself. For some of you, this is um, a masculine. This is your masculine. And this is possibly like your twin flame or your counterpart. This, I, feel, I see you spying. You spying on this person. You're watching them. You're watching them. You may feel like, you know what, this person isn't really enough for me. Like, you're kind of like picking this person apart. Like, mm, I don't like that about them. Oh, no, and that too. Mm -mm, I don't like that either. Um, why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah. 
I feel like you're just watching this person because you're kind of like just waiting it out. Kind of like, I'm getting like you're taking your time. I feel like you want to take this per or you want this person to take you out on a date or vice versa. Um, you feel like that's cool and everything. That's cool and everything, you know, keeping it flowing and keeping it fun. But you don't want to regret this person walking out on you or leaving or they, I feel like you don't want it to. You, you don't want to put any energy into it if it's not going to be worth it. So you're kind of like just waiting it out. You kind of see before you make your final decision. It seems like it's too risky for you. Um, I'm getting the three of cups and the devil. You could feel like this person is more of like a, you know, on a friendship level, like friends with benefits type of level. Um, I just see you kind of like, just kind of like waiting it out. This person over here, their energy, they ready to buck. <laughs> they ready to buck, okay? They ready to buck. They, this is definitely, I feel like, someone that you dealt with before. Um, this person feels like a celebrity. We got the six of wands and a star. Like, this person carries themselves. Um... Very, they think very highly of themselves. They think very highly of themselves. They say they ain't nobody that you just gonna play with, and they not coming to play with you. Yeah, this person over here, they, <laughs> this person over here, like real rowdy. Could be a Queen of Cups, okay? Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Like, this is in the hopes and fears. Queen of Cups to end the world and the hangman. I feel like you could feel like this person is, is going to start being sneaky. Now, we got the Fool and the Seven of Swords and the Moon. You feel like this person got secrets. Maybe you have some secrets. Like I said, you this is someone that you dealt with previously. I feel like this is someone from their past that is returning. I feel like you fear like this getting put, brought out, and then a bunch of lies and scandals go on. This is something that you possibly kind of like want to keep on the low. But see, yeah, you want it to be balanced. You want it to be fair. You want to make sure that it's equal on both sides. I feel like you feel where this person is coming from, um, but you don't want to play a side piece or you don't want to play the little, you know, thing that's going on on the side. I feel like, I feel like you just want it to be balanced. You want it to be fair, equal. You want it to be equal. Yeah. You want it to be equal. You want it to be an agreement that y'all both come to, okay? Picking up on Cancer energy, Leo energy as well. But you definitely desire this person in some way, shape, or form. But you just want to make sure that it's the right, it's the, you set the right tone for this connection. This is a connection that I feel like if both of y'all can come to a mutual agreement, then it's going to flow. But you have to make up your mind first. You and this person have to have a sit down. Okay, on where do you want this to go? Because I see you, you're not wanting to piss this person off. And this person don't need to piss you off neither. Um, so you you have a decision that you need to make. You got an offer on the table um, on how you want something to go. I do feel like this person is open to the idea, but they're not playing. They're not playing. They don't want to play games. They want to want it to be straight, straight up. I'm getting straight up energy. Be straight up with me, type energy. 
All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below, all right? And I'm going to chat with y'all later.